So Yu-Gi-Oh! is a guilty pleasure of mine. Not really the cards, but the show. There's some cool stuff going on in the show. Some fun ideas, some good story arcs. But there are powers in this world that have forever damaged what most English-speaking viewers see as Yu-Gi-Oh! The first thing we need to cover is the difference between Yu-Gi-Oh! and Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters. What Western viewers know as the beginning of Yu-Gi-Oh! is actually the second season, which in Japan was known as Yu-Gi-Oh! Colon Duel Monsters because of its focus on the Duel Monsters card game. See, Yu-Gi actually played loads of different games in the first season, and only later discovering Duel Monsters. This first season was entirely ignored when the show was syndicated to US television. Although it wasn't even really syndication, it was adaptation. 4Kids Entertainment took the Duel Monsters season and cut it into an American dubbed kids show for Warner Brothers. Presumably they chose to do this because of the merchandising opportunities and beginning the show here made it all about these. But this leads to horrific continuity errors. The original season had important stuff in it. Like the introduction of the Millennium Puzzle and the first appearance of the Pharaoh. The development of Kaiba and the reason the main characters are friends in the first place. Which leads to everything not quite making sense in the US version. Particularly the Pharaoh whose presence for a very long time is unexplained and you're not even sure whether Yugi's friends notice it happening. Can anyone see this transformation? Does no one find it odd that this 10 year old boy is turning into a 20 something year old man with a ludicrously deep voice? Or can they not see the physical changes? Is that just for our benefit? And if so, why have they not stated that? There's so much ambiguity and it makes no sense! Add to that the fact that some sequences are reordered or entirely removed to optimize the show. Lines are changed like in any bad dub and they start compounding these issues with even more continuity problems. Also cut from the 4Kids version are scenes that were deemed inappropriately violent or sexual. Some monsters are redesigned, violence is toned down even though it was pretty tame to begin with. All this leads to a catastrophically bastardized version of the original show which is dumbed down to the point where it makes no sense and there aren't even any hot wizard babes to look at. Another fun fact about the US version is that due to American programming regulations, the design of Duel Monsters cards had to be changed so that they weren't identical to their real-life counterparts. Because if the fictional cards looked exactly the same as the toy, the show would be legally categorized as a commercial. And paying for a 20-minute TV ad is a lot of money! So they got around the problem by simplifying the on-screen cards and Yu-Gi-Oh! went on air. But that didn't stop it being a 20-minute ad. It sacrificed so much that you won't even understand the story. But that doesn't matter as long as you know how to play the game. And that makes me sad.